Well, hello and welcome to today's short video. This question I get asked such a lot. When should I start my art business? So I thought I'd make a little video answering that question. Now, of course, if you've never run a business before, it can seem really, really daunting. And that was me fresh out of my teaching job back in the day. But I promise you, it doesn't have to be as complicated as I'm sure you're thinking it is. So let's look at exactly when you should start that business. Well, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophie and I help artists to set up and grow a successful, profitable business doing exactly what they love. If that's something that interests you and you'd like tips and tricks on how to set up that profitable business, then you're in the right place because that's exactly what I share on this channel. So don't, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. Okay, let's dive into it. So should I wait until I have a complete body of work before I start up my business? Or perhaps should I wait until I've created an entire online course before setting up my business? So the answer really is very simply, I don't think so. I think that would be totally the wrong thing to do. And here's why. If you wait until you've got a complete collection of artwork or you've created that course or series of workshops, you're actually wasting a lot of valuable time. Why? Because actually it's going to take you a few weeks, maybe even months to get all the different pieces in place for your art business. So for example, you'll need a business plan completed. You'll need a marketing plan. You'll want a sales platform set up somewhere for people to actually go and buy what you've got on offer. You'll want all the listings created and photos taken. You'll want a mailing list set up and working. A marketing routine established. And of course, any social media that you might want to do as well. So really, what should you do? You should do the two things at the same time create the body of work or create the course or whatever your products or services are whilst you also build the business. Because then when you have the product or service ready, you have the business ready, you can launch the business and you've already got um, a waiting audience to buy whatever it is that you're offering. So build your business as you create the work or as you put your workshops and courses together, grow, start to grow that audience so that when you do launch your business and your, your collection, you have an exhibition or you run a work series of workshops, whatever it is for you, then you have an audience waiting for that business. So this is what we teach in our Art Biz Success Path, which is the foundational piece of our membership, the Art Business Academy. So if you'd like to find out more about that, then don't forget to click the link below this video and get yourself on the waiting list for when we open the doors later this month. Um, and you can take a look at and even maybe join the Art Business Academy. In the meantime, would you like to know the 10 things you need to be doing to make a living from your art? We have a brand new free guide, free download. Again, grab the link below this video and make sure that you get your free guide because there's some really essential information in there. And it's going to give you a good idea of exactly what you need to be doing to get that profitable business, right? And don't forget, you can be doing the creative stuff while you do the business stuff. That's a perfect, that's a win-win in my book. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.